So there are women who attempt to invade male spaces and then women who try to become part of male spaces. What, in your opinion, is the difference? Um, I think it's kind of your intention behind it. Like, why are you here? And are you here to, like, get attention like from men? And, or are you here to generally, like, help men? Uh, help men or women? Um, I yes. mean, I, I think these spaces help both. Okay. Because I think, you know, women are at least it's honesty from like the men about what you want right and it's honestly and it like I, honestly i think both people are helped okay by male spaces okay very good janelle um it's always about the feminine i know it's the manosphere but as donovan was saying so amazingly earlier he brought women into the platform and that leveled him up allowed him not leveled him up but you know what i mean like it helped, <laughs> let me just rephrase that You're about like, to get all the hate i know comments. i know <laughs> like helped him to evolve his platform and what he was doing because let's just be honest if you, like right now all y'all are paying attention if a guy walks by are you gonna stop no but if a woman walks by you know women up here you will stop and yes, sir. Uh -huh. it's just the law of nature so anytime you bring women in we can actually enhance things we can make them more colorful we can make them more sexual which is a good thing right and we can make them more full of creativity and so I think women in this field they enhance things they make it more creative they obviously get more eyes on viewers who wants to see a cover with just a guy no offense none of them's great but you put four women on the you know panel all shape sizes <laughs> boobs cup sizes the whole thing it's a good look so. all right um ally the boys club is just funnier it's so much better <laughs> my gosh hanging out with women you know sometimes it'd be really stressful for me because uh, they're going. not as overt with their, with their communication as men and i've always found that men are more trustworthy that's just been my particular experience what? but i served in the military and i got a lot of assistance oh, and mentorship go. from men and when men have their fill of beautiful young women well they don't tend to sexually harass you they just give you the insights that you're looking for in a professional manner and i found a lot of that in the manosphere aside from you know my daily giggles <laughs> <laughs> uh Deb, now this is interesting you didn't you didn't invade the space i kind of dragged you into the space uh kicking and screaming yes that's true and being being with you and behind the scenes i've seen a lot of women come and go try to invade the space um i've seen women come in just basically looking to hook up with as many red pill guys as they can wow. know of um there's quite a few you can call them red pill groupies yep yeah yep uh, and those those types get around like the the word gets around pretty quick, yep. um, especially among like the group of guys. So finding I think if you bring women in, they have to have something to contribute that's on message. If it's not on message, or if it's there to argue, if it's there to say oh, but anything, then it's not worth really bringing them in. Uh, the women who can come in and help strengthen the message, and who can help other women become more like them, become more compliant, become more feminine, become more fit, understand their role and how that role empowers them in a positive way, then I think like that could be helpful to the manosphere. I don't think the manosphere needs women, Someone but I do egg. think that if men and women are going to be better together, that uh, the message has to get out to women as well. And I don't think a lot of women are going to sit back and listen to only men speak about this because they're like, oh yeah, that's great in theory, but you're just a, a you know, misogynist or whatever. Sag. Um, but when you can actually see that there are women who are happy and to follow that lead and, and it actually contributes to a successful relationship and, and it, it does work, I think that could be very beneficial to both men and women in the manosphere. However, the, um, I don't want to say her name, but uh, there's a lot of women who do try to infiltrate simply, oh, just, Tori. simply just for attention. Oh. Yeah. No, yeah. I didn't say that. I've been kitten. Oh, Kitten Holiday. Yeah, so, so for those of you guys, I don't, who knows who Kitten Holiday is? Never heard of her. Never, Never heard, heard of her. Never okay. Heard of her. Uh, Kitten Holiday. She changed your name after she got found out. Okay. Kitten <laughs> Holiday is a, she's a, she's a fatter, she's a fatter version of Tori. Wow. I don't know. Who Literally. Who Kitten, Kitten wanted to sort of be like the, the first lady of the Manosphere, dare I say. And so she tried to sort of, I think she may or may not have hooked up with Goldman. Um, I know most of you guys don't know who that is. But yeah, she was always in our chats and she was always in, she, she tried to call up one time during the Red Man group and... Uh, oh, 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 thank you. Appreciate that. I was advertising. Yeah, we're professionals here. We're professionals here. Yes, dude. Move, move bottle by the TV. Um, but, um, but yeah, um, 
that's what I like about this community is that we, and, and I'm sure that there's still some men in this community who don't exactly trust the intentions of even maybe Dev, right? Mm -hmm. But they think, oh, Janelle's just doing this to Cloud Chase and Pearl and Allie and all this other kind of stuff. And, you know, listen, man, think what you want. But I've made personnel, I've made person, I've hit a lot of personnel home runs with men and I've struck out personnel wise uh, with men. And I'm not, I'm not ashamed to say it. I made a mistake with O'Shea. I made a mistake with Steve the Dean. Clearly made a, uh, a mistake with uh, with Anthony Johnson. You know, I owned it. Um, but I made a mistake. Uh, I made a mistake with. Um, I made a mistake with Tori. And the the deal was. And listen, shout out to Tori. I mean, I'm sure she's a wonderful human being. But her her whole her her personality was not really was not really suited for what I'm trying to do. I want women to contribute. Yes, you want to look the best you can, I get it, but your number one priority should be helping men and women. So Pearl, talk about some of the hate that you have gotten. Do you get hate from, do you get more hate from women or men? Oh Ooh. gosh, I get hate from both sides. Okay. Um, I would say, I mean the men, it's usually just your appearance, like you're four, you're out, like, like you're overweight, what I, like that yeah. sort of stuff. But, you're too tall. Yeah. yeah. But you kind of you kind of just learn like a lot of them are like projecting and it's, they're just mad because you would never date them to be oh. honest. No, no offense. But, um, but then it's like like that's female nature, guys. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, because some of them. Like, never mind. But, no, please, please, come no, on, no, no. let it out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that nope. to what Pearl <laughs> wanted to say is that he has a small dick. He lives in his mom's in his mom's basement and he never gets laid. I just mean no. Most people that, that no most. People people that take the time to comment on a video or say something negative about mm -hmm. you, it's a projection of how they feel about themselves. Yeah, of course. So, of course. like, typically, if someone's calling you ugly, it's because they don't feel good about themselves. Ooh. Like, and that's what I mean, like, in general. And it's the same thing with women. Because, oh. like, what women do is, like, like, women will come on my show and, like, they're so defensive when I just, like, am very open with them about what men want. Yeah. Like, for example, I'll talk about, like, how how body count matters. Like, that's one mm -hmm. thing I'll say to women. And, like, their first response is... <gasps> Is is to shame men, yeah. and I just I don't I have I have five brothers I just don't play with that I don't okay. think it's cool. Okay, talk about the bitch who wanted a two hundred thousand dollar ring who looked like Nell Carter. Oh <laughs> yeah, there. I don't know who Nell Carter is, but <laughs> I got I got to remember. I got to remember. You guys know. Listen, guys, guys with gray gray in your beard, you guys know who I'm talking about. All right, anyway. All right. Boy, um, I just dated the hell out of myself. You don't know who Nell Carter is? Oh boy. Uh no, give me a break. Oh, Give me a break. Um, yeah. No, but I mean, that girl. Yeah, I, I was just confused because she felt like she was entitled to a two hundred thousand dollar engagement ring, and I come from a family like I come. My dad's like top one percent. Yeah. Winner. You know how highly I like oh, speak yeah. of my father. Of course, like of he's a great dude. If my mom asked for a two hundred thousand dollar engagement ring from my dad, like she would be single. Yes, that's right. <laughs> and and that, that's one, you're not entitled to his money. You don't you don't deserve it just for what existing right. and like being a woman. And she felt like she had to do nothing to deserve this man. Right. Right. Like my mom quit her job to work for my dad and helped him build a multi-million dollar Ooh. business. Oh yeah. And follow and, moved, and she switched schools <laughs> to be with him. And you, what? you yeah, yeah. Wow. She, she was um she spent two years at like Illinois, she moved to Wisconsin to be with him. Wow. And so and, and you just wanna exist? Like that's that's what you like. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> and and so I was yeah, trying right. to tell her like nicely that you know you're being delusional and that's crazy. But I don't know. Some girls just like don't want to hear it, and you can't really like you can't really help them. Dealing with her is tough because she was the type of delusional woman who was nice about it. She wasn't a bitch about it, but she was. It, it was almost like her delusion was so out there. That she couldn't be a bitch about it because right. girls. It's funny. I'll put this out. I'll put this out to you guys. Girls who are delusional and maybe understand that they're probably a little bit delusional are a little bitchier. But then there are girls who are so delusional they think, "Hey, I really do. Yeah, I want a two hundred thousand dollar ring. What's what's the big deal?"